Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 2 to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. So we have x minus 2 to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. The first step is to take 5 to the power of 6 on the left hand side so that now we have here x minus 2 to the power of 6 minus 5 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. We can express x minus 2 to the power of 6 as x minus 2 raised to the power of 3 then raised to the power of 2. Subtract 5 to the power of 6 which we can express as 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And this is equal to 0. Now, from this equation, we have that a is equal to x minus 2 to the power of 3, and we have that b is equal to 5 to the power of 3. So this implies that a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So this is equation 1. We have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1. We can call this case 1. Now, in case 1, we have x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation actually is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. This is a sum of two cubes, which we can express as a plus b, multiplying by a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now, applying this identity, then here we have x minus 2 plus 5 multiplying by x minus 2 raised to the power of 2, subtract 5, multiplying by x minus 2. Then we have plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. We have x, this is minus 2 plus 5, which is 3. So we have x plus 3. Then into the parentheses, let's open the parentheses here, x minus 2 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as x squared minus 4x, then plus 4, minus 5 times x, this is minus 5x, minus 5 times minus 2, this is plus 10, plus 25, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So here we have x plus 3, here we have x squared, minus 4x minus 5x, this is minus 9x. Then we have 4 plus 10, this is 14, 14 plus 25. So this is equal to 39, this is equal to zero. So we have two parts here. We have x plus three, this is equal to zero. And we have x squared minus 9x, plus 39, this is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 3. The second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to minus 9, and c equal to 39. So we can solve for x2, comma x3, by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
everything here divided by 2 times times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that now here we have minus minus 9 plus or minus the square root of minus 9 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 39. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. And this means that here we have minus times minus 9. This is 9 plus or minus the square root of minus 9 squared. This is equal to 81. Subtract now 4 times 39. Now we have 9 times 4. This is 36. 6 carry 3. Then 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3. That is equal to 150. 6. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 156. This is minus 75. Everything here divided by 2. So that now here we have 9 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 75 as 25 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1, everything here divided by 2. So that now, here we have, this is 9, plus or minus, the square root of 25, this is 5, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So this means that x2, comma x3, this is equal to 9 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now in case 2 here we have x minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. And this is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the difference of two cubes that we can express as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, applying this identity, then we have x minus 2 minus 5. Then here we have x minus 2 raised to the power of 2, then plus 5, multiplying by x minus 2, then plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. Now, we have here that this is x minus 2 minus 5. This is minus 7. Then here we have x minus 2 to the power of 2. So this is x squared minus 4x, then plus 4. Then plus, here we have 5 times x, this is 5x. 5 times minus 2, this is minus 10. Then plus 25. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to, to 0. Now, here we have x minus 7. Here we have x squared minus 4x plus 5x. So this is plus x. Then we have here. We have 4 minus 10. This is equal to minus 6. Then minus 6 plus 25. This is plus 19. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 7. This is equal to 0. Then the second part here is x squared plus x plus 19. This is equal to, to 0. Now from the first part here, we have that x4 is equal to 7. So we can solve for the values of x5 and x6. This is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and that c is equal to 19. So x5, comma x6, this is equal to minus b. Let's apply the quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. So this means that a, we have substituting values of a, b, and c. So we have minus 1, 
plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 19. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 19 times 4 this is 76 everything here divided by 2. So now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 76 this is minus 75 divided by 2 and this implies that here we have minus 1 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 75 as the square root of 25 multiplying by 3 but multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So again we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 25. This is 5. Square root of minus 1. This is i. Then square root of 3 divided by 2. So this implies that x5 is equal to minus 1 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 and we have that x6 this is equal to minus 1 minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 and this implies that here we have two complex solutions under case 2 so this means that we have six solutions we have four complex solutions and two real solutions. So kind of follow the steps, like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. See you in the next video.